Hello everyone. Welcome back to the parallel programming in .NET. In this video, we will discuss about the terminating a parallel loop. So, like for an example, we having a loop and in some scenario or some condition, we want to get rid of that loop or we will be come out from that loop. So, how we can terminate that loop? So, there are two methods available and that is the like break and the stop method. So, let's understand how we can implement those things. So for like this is the previous example which we are working so here first like what i'm going to uh, make instead of this uh, 10 i'm going to make it as a 300 like any number we can take anything and i'm going to take a, another method that is the data and i'm going to start it from the zero now for making a break and the stop method what we have to do we have to use a one action body and with that one we have to take a one another variable and that is the break count so this variable i'm going to take it now next thing what we have to do inside this data what i'm going to assign the count so basically what i'm doing i'm increasing this value and here i will check this data if it is greater than 100 then what i'm saying like this should stop from here so break count like basically that method is available in this variable so break count dot so break method so this break method basically what it do it break this for loop and come out from here so when i will run this application we will see the output and we can see like uh, so since it is working with the parallel loop and it used the multiple threads so we can see like first it printed the 75 and then the thread is 4 and the next one is 1 and then it is coming out so in the sense like 3 value at a time it is printing and then after that might be the data value is greater than 100 and it is you know, like breaking from there so this is the way it is working now here let's uh, make a small change instead of the thread let's take the data value and here let's take it the data value and we can see like currently what is the data so when i will run this application so again let's see the output so basically this break method what it do it take out from the loop and we can see now the currently the value is 37 means the value of that count is 37 and end point of that time the data is 142 and the an, another value is 14 and it is for 142 and it is coming out because it worked parallelly that's why it is printing two value at a time so this is the one method that um, like terminate the loop and apart from this one we have a another method and that is the stop so now at point of this time when you will run this application you will see like it will also breaking from that and we can see the output as expected so this break and the stop is basically used to terminate the parallel loops which are available in the C-sharp. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.